Hey, McHugh's here. Welcome back with another video. We have the world spriggin! Let's get right into it. Today, guys, we're gonna talk about the world spriggin' Beyblade. It's really awesome. Yep, I saw it. It's awesome. They're doing it. Finally, Spriggan is coming back. And the best part is his parking chip is a metal. This is metal sparking chip. I'm so happy to see the Spriggan come with a metal sparking chip. And it turns out it has one layer which can be flipped. It's like Master Diablos, Master Diablos. Why am I saying Diablos? It's Master Diablos. I really feel sad they did they copied Master Diablos, Diablos, Diablos techniques. And uh, it should be like better for the, the, the Devilos releases, the new uh, Diablos um, random booster. I mean, in that random booster, we had to get the... We, we, I thought in the random booster, we will get the um, the um, the Master Devilos gimmick, but sadly, they didn't do it. They did like the, the first Diablos, like this first Diablos releases. But anyways, we have World Spriggan. That's pretty awesome. World, Spr World Spriggan consists of the uh, 2B that comes which is basically the barrier one that comes with the barrier for uh, Lean Vahala or Lane Vahala and uh, his uh, tip is Unite. Why Takara tell me why? Why did he put Unite? I really feel sad they put Unite. Once again they put Unite. It's, it really hurts. Hurts like it really hurts me. They put Unite. Why the hell they put Unite? I really feel sad. I wish they did some new tip or something but yo the new spriggin Anyways, looks awesome. It might be weak because of the barrier it has, or maybe it doesn't have a barrier. My question is, does it have a barrier or not? But when I looked in the Karakura thingy, it turns out it doesn't have the barrier. Oh, that'll be really insane. To be without barrier, that's gonna be awesome. It's basically like you can you can actually give that part to um, first Uranus, making it oh perfect for the first Uranus. We don't need to make custom barriers. We don't need to cut those tongue-like thingies or like the straight line thingies. So yeah, the Spriggan release is pretty awesome. I think it'll have the same gimmick of the Master Diablos thingy where he can switch the positions the of the metal chip. And this is also metal. And I think this will be the best or the most hype release. And one more thing, I'm really so sad. Achilles is not coming back. What the hell, Achilles? He's not coming. He's not coming. I mean, he's not coming. I mean by he's not coming back. He's not coming for this way. He's not coming for 172. B172. I really feel sad. I thought Iga's gonna come back. Iga's gonna come first. But anyways, we got Spriggan. Then Iga. Then who? I don't know. Yeah. To be honest with you, the last one, the last legendary leader should be an attack type. And I think that should go with Xander Shakadera. Yep. Xander Shakadera. I think they're giving respect to Xander Shakadeva, making him as the last release, as the last ultimate, I mean, uh, as the last um, Super Beyblade, as the last uh, legendary Beyblade, because they're giving him some respect, because the last releases always have some hype to it. And always, I think Xander will have the respect. Right now, Xander will come back with an awesome layer. Better tip, please give me a better tip for Xander Shakadeva. Please give him a better tip, please, please. And his, uh, student savior. I think he'll also come back and yeah, definitely they're giving some respect to Xander if they if, if Xander is coming for the Last attack type as the last attack type as the last legendary attack type Yeah, he's he's actually getting more respect compared to Free De La Hoya, Louie and uh, Shu Kurnai. I should say that because the last release is always more hype You know the last release is always more hype last legendary release because Excalibur was the last of Voltaway's best friends and it turns out that was more hype compared to the other ones. So yeah, pretty awesome, right? Excalibur coming back in the last last wave. I really feel sad they called long. Uh, they called Spriggan as World Spriggan, since uh, it's it's not a good name. I thought they'll give it Superior Spriggan. Note that down. Superior Spriggan or Supreme. That could have been a much better name. Yeah, I'll call it Superior Spriggan. I like that name. So apparently. The Spriggan Bay is released. It's gonna have the same gimmick like the um, uh, what they call the uh, Master Diablos, and uh, it's gonna have the same parts, all the same parts. We're just gonna get the same parts once again. We're gonna get the same parts. I mean by same parts, we're getting 
Morbius, I mean, you're getting two, uh, two B, which is two balance, which is basically the variant Lucifer. We're getting the Unite, and uh, and yeah, Dash. I mean, yeah, Dash. We already have Unite Dash, and yeah, nothing much about that. Nothing much about Spring. I thought he's gonna come with complete new parts. I feel sad he's not coming, but he's not coming with like new parts. But anyways, Spriggan, I'm hyped for it. Now let's talk about a little bit of its layer, of his layer. He has the two sides, left and right spin. The left one apparently looks like Legend Spriggan. I really, really, really like Legend Spriggan. Yeah, Legend Spriggan, he looks awesome with a black into it. That's awesome. And the other one, which is basically Spriggan Requiem, it's just basically Spriggan Requiem's evolution. It's just basically Spriggan Requiem's evolution. Yep, if this video hits at least 1k views, I mean 1k likes and 100k views, that's, that's, I mean, I'm expecting so much. And I'll buy the Spriggan. I'll buy the Spriggan. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We talked about the next release. Maybe that should be the attack one. Attack release, the next legendary blader release. We talked about how the Spriggan looks and its parts. So, yeah. See you next time. Goodbye.